I don't think he did it. Why? Because he's the weaponizer? The weaponizer once bit a man's ear off for looking at him funny. This puddle of wine doesn't have it in him anymore. He breaks legs for the mob. Yes, but he's not a killer. All he cares about is his well-preserved wife. No, maybe we can get a jury to buy that. I don't. And personally, I'm happy the judge set his bail at half a million. Now Dan has time to check his alibi. And... I thought he was broke. Oh, I paid his bail. Even in this woeful, pathetic state, the weaponizer does not spend one minute in jail. Not on my watch. <laughs> see what I did there with the... I literally don't know what to say to you right now. <laughs> Mr. Morningstar. Yes. Uh, Ryan Goldberg, uh, Kimo's business manager. I wanted to thank you for making his bail. Uh, you know, Kimo sure as hell couldn't pay it himself. That's so the least I could do for a true national treasure. So, for someone with so many hit movies under their belt, why is he so broke? Exotic cars, private islands. I mean, you know what costs more than an albino tiger? The upkeep on an albino tiger. He flew through his money, didn't listen, and now there's no more coming in. Thanks again. Yes. It's such a tragedy. Well, it's always a tragedy when someone gets killed. No, I'm talking about his tiger. I would have bought it if I'd known. Why isn't Dan checking the eye? Dan. talk about Uriel. Well, what's that to talk about? Punch, taunt, punch, groin, stump, repeat. Yeah, listen, Lucy, I've been thinking. There might be a better way to handle this without violence. What, like hugging him back to heaven? Like hiding Mom, hiding Chloe, and wait Uriel out. What? Look, just because he told us his plan doesn't mean that's his plan. It's Uriel. It could be a trap. Brother, you've been here too long. It's changed you. What do you mean? Meaning that ever since you've been here, you've had to restrain yourself. But this is Uriel. You're you. Amenadiel, firstborn. Unleash yourself. Enjoy it. <sighs> Look, you do know that he was always afraid of you. Don't mock me, Lucifer. I'm not. It's true. All right? Growing up, we... Well, we all looked up to you. You were like our very own action star. Even you. Well, don't get me wrong. You're a major power-hungry dick about it. But, but trust me, just the sight of you will send quivers down your real spine. You're right. All he needs to see is me in all of my glory. And there's that angelic ego I'm talking about. Right. You know what to do.